Chicago Gulls are back in action and Gulliver's all pumped up. Opening night, it is going to be a crazy, crazy place here at Pachanga Arena. And we're so excited uh, to talk with Matt Savant, President of Business Operations. This is the moment we've been waiting like 600 something days for, right? For fans to be in the stands here. That's correct. And Eric, I know you're a hockey fan yes. just like I am. So this is a big day for everybody in San Diego. It's been 608 days wow. since we played a game right here at Pachanga Arena. So we're so excited to welcome the fans back. We've got a great squad this year. We've got a new coach. There's a lot of great things. There's a lot of great things. The yes. Gull Girls are happy. They're excited. You guys pumped up to get the fans going We're this year. so excited to hang out with all the fans, feel the energy in the crowd. We're so excited to be back with our family here. Yeah. We cannot Sorry, wait to see everyone out here watching <laughs> the heat on the ice. You guys are going to be giving away these towels, too. Yes, we have towels. We have these light-up wristbands. So it's going to be a party. Don't miss it. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's something about live fans, Matt. I know, Gulliver, you get excited about all that. Um, something about having the fans in the stands, right? There's just, for the players, even when I played and you played, having fans yelling and screaming and getting involved, it's just a something for the game. You know, it's something that we were really able to pinpoint last year when across the entire NHL and AHL, we weren't able to play in front of fans right. for the most part. So when you play a full contact professional hockey game with no fans it's still exciting but it's nothing compared to a sold out crowd like we're going to have tonight right here at Pachanga Arena yeah. it really adds a lot of energy it adds a lot of uh, excitement the players feed off of it so I'm just thrilled to have everybody back tonight a lot of familiar key players that are going to be on the goals uh, and some new faces including the head coach Joel Bouchard tell us a little bit about the man behind the bench yeah so Joel Bouchard uh, came from the Laval Rocket he's been in the hockey industry for his entire life he played in the NHL right uh, great coach did really well uh, in the Eastern Conference, so we're thrilled to have him. Um, and then from a player standpoint, we've got uh, we've got some returners. You may remember the Carrick brothers. Oh, Carrick. yes. Uh, he was the captain of last year's team. Uh, he'll be here as well. Uh, his brother, Trevor Carrick, plays defense for us, so it's kind of a family affair here. Uh, Vinny Letary was our leading scorer last year. He'll be back. And something kind of fun for tonight, Buddy Robinson uh, is a player we signed this year. He played for the Stockton Heat last year. Awesome. So uh, he'll get to face off against his old team. And we're doing some giveaways. we got to let everyone know because there's uh, a lot of people that love these towels and there's other things. Well, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we really wanted to make a splash. Like I said, it's been over 600 days since we've had our uh, America's Finest fans here in the barn. So we're doing rally towel giveaways. We're also going to do light up bracelets and we're going to do a laser show. We're going to have a DJ inside the crowd. We have a live band in the Stella Lounge. So we've got so many things going on so that when the fans get here, come early because we've got a little pregame ceremony <laughs> where we're going to introduce all the fans. Yeah. But when they get here, you guys are going to be really entertained. There's lots going on two giveaways, a DJ, it's going to be a party. Yeah, it's going to be fun, um, but there are some uh, COVID protocols we want everyone to know about before they show up, and, and can you walk us through those? Yeah, absolutely. So this is uh, coming down from the state of California, so we're following the rules to a T. We want to make sure that everyone is as safe as possible. Right. So uh, you've got to have uh, double vaccination plus two weeks in order to come in. You have to show proof of vaccination, or you can get a negative test within 72 hours, then you can come in the building. If you're unvaccinated, we ask that you wear a mask. If you're fully vaccinated, come on in, drink your $2 beers, and enjoy yourself and if you get here early enough you guys are actually doing some of the shots here right on site that's Absolutely. pretty cool yes you can come here and uh, get tested before the game we'll have a booth outside so if you haven't been tested uh, go ahead and use the uh, facility here to get the test uh, we do recommend as many people as possible get tested ahead of time that way you're uh, can come right in the door and not have a uh, clog up at the lines We're we're worried about uh, this many people we're projecting a sellout right there's still tickets available but yeah. we're projecting a sellout so it's gonna be some long lines come early and get in. Okay, so you guys are doing the tests. Uh, we're not doing the shots here, but doing the tests. So that's uh, some good news. Uh, tell us about Stockton, this matchup that you're going to have. You guys haven't played these guys in a while. How do you even scout for something like that? Yeah, because of the COVID protocols last year, Stockton is the AHL affiliate of the Cal Calgary Flames. Therefore, they played up in Calgary last year. So they gotcha. played in the uh, Canadian division. So we haven't seen the Calgary Flames in almost a year. So it's uh, it's really good to see those guys back here. They're tough. They're a big team. They're a little bit mean. So uh, there might be a couple scraps on the ice. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And I got to say, one of the reasons that this is a big hit, not only the game, the action and everything, but it's that return of the $2 Bud Light night. That's always a crowd favorite, too. Yeah, uh, this has become synonymous with the San Diego Golds. <laughs> it's uh, every Friday night we have uh, $2 Bud Lights. Uh, that's happening again tonight. So uh, come and uh, get ready to have some fun. All in moderation and make sure you have that drive home, right? So, uh, guys, you're all excited. We're all pumped up. People can still get tickets. You got to head to the website, right? There's only uh, a few left. There's a couple left. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Come on out. This place is going to be loud, and it's going to be a ruckus crowd here <laughs> yeah. on the ice and in the stands. It's going to be a lot of fun.